Why am I pipetting all crazy all over my bench without a flame or style technique in my bacterial painting video, you ask? Let me explain. First, I knew that we just weren't going to be able to have a flame set up at the museum, and I wanted to recreate the conditions of the activity as we would be doing them with everyone as best as I could to really try this out. But you might then be wondering why not everything in the air just floating around flying onto these plates was then growing up and destroying my paintings. So the plates have an antibiotic in them called ampicillin, which helps to prevent bacterial growth. Then how does the E. coli grow on the plates? What I didn't tell you is that when we put that GFP gene into our bacteria, we did so on a circle of DNA called a plasmid. And so that plasmid had both our GFP gene, and it also had an ampicillin resistance gene, so a gene that would help make that E. coli resistant to the antibiotic. This trick is great for the museum setting because we want to be able to do this out with a lot of people. We don't want everything floating around in the air just falling on our plates. So we make sure that the plates prevent anything that doesn't have this antibiotic resistance gene from growing and then only our E. coli grows. But this antibiotic resistance is actually very useful in the lab too as a method of selecting which E. coli has taken up the genes that we have tried to put into it. If I have a tube of E. coli and I try to put the GFP gene into it, some E. coli will take it up and others won't, and having to manually sort that out is difficult, especially if we weren't using a gene that had such a visual phenotype. If we were using a gene that you couldn't see the difference between the E. coli, it would be almost impossible to try and separate those out. So by adding an antibiotic resistance onto the plasmid with my gene of interest, I can then just plate all of that E. coli out onto an antibiotic resistance plate, and only the things that took up my plasmid that has my gene and that antibiotic resistance gene on them will grow. So it's a really nice way of selecting only the bacteria that took up the gene I tried to give it. So now you know, but if you did want to use good sterile technique, you could do so with a flame like this one. You could click there and look at that flame. Go forth and do science.